out a new sponsor to Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. All right, what's going on? We back. Good fellow Sports TV. Uh, reaction to the final press conference for Danny Jacobs taking on Canelo Alvarez in the middleweight unification bout, a rare unification bout going down in America. But yeah, it was pretty boring. You know, Eddie Hearn was the bright spot. Before I continue, make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Um, yeah, Canelo ain't a big pool amongst uh, casual Americans. One of the reasons is he don't speak English, but it really wasn't nothing, nothing really to be said, man. You know what I'm saying? Eddie Hearn had the best part. You know, obviously, he praised his own, um, you know, and uh, tried to take some shots at PBC. And that was the usual theme today um, with the media and yesterday. And I'll do a live stream about it today. Um, Eddie Hearn took shots at the press conference. De La Hoya took shots uh, uh, with the media yesterday. And I'm going to do a live stream probably about an hour or so. That that's been the theme, you know. Is, is really, and that, and that's and that's how how it's been, you know. what I'm saying that's exactly how it's been. That a lot of times, even going back to Mayweather Pacquiao, they blew up Pacquiao fights off the strength of Mayweather name, and they doing the same thing uh, from Jared Hurd to Errol Spence and stuff of that nature. But I explained in the live stream. But pretty much, you know, uh, didn't know what type of media crowd was there. Don't know all the media that's there. All of them. I've seen a few of them. A few of them that's represented well there. But it just doesn't seem to have a big fight feel. Even the press conference, it just seems that... Um, it just seems that... Uh, this seems not a big fight. It just seems that nobody really care about the fight because everybody know Danny Jacobs don't have a chance. And just the feeling in me, and like I said, I don't have nothing personal against Danny Jacobs, you know, uh, as far as a fighter. Some of the things outside the ring... Him and his team accusing Charlo of being on roids and stuff. That shit was weak, but I put that pride aside to support uh, Danny Jacobs going against um, Canelo. And I, I like actually like Danny Jacobs as a fighter. Been to his fight before when he fought Triple G. But it just feels that the vibe I'm getting from him is it's like, you know, I'm about, I'm here to box and improve all my skills. And it should be. It should be a knockout vibe. It should be like, like I ain't got no other choice but to knock this joker out. He don't have the mentality. And I was talking to a few people, you know, behind the scenes and on social media. And, you know, they tend to agree like it doesn't feel like a fight week. The press conference didn't feel like a fight, a final press conference as the, one of the biggest fights to be made this year. As far as t people think of, oh, this is a big fight because I like this fighter and this community like this fighter or, or this guy like this fighter. No, it's a big fight because it's one of the best fights to be made this year. You know what I'm saying? It's a unification bout, three titles on the line. Good fighter Danny Jacobs, good fighter Canelo Alvarez, but it just seems that Danny Jacobs ain't bringing the fire or he not got the right mentality, so it's killing the vibe. Even in the final press conference, he was just pretty much happy to be there and said he's going to try his best and he's going to bring all his abilities out. That's not selling the fight. Now, it might be an unspoken agreement or they might have had Danny Jacobs agree to a confidentiality agreement not to sit up there and pretty much dog Canelo Alvarez. That's what people want to see. Because I don't need to understand, yes, Canelo is a valuable commodity, but guess what? He made some mistakes across the way. He got a favorable decision. He put a rehydration clause in for Danny Jacobs. He has cheated. He had put computer in his ass. You know what I'm saying? He's he's cheated. You know what I'm saying? And it seems that, you know, Danny Jacobs, he he's a good person, but it seems a real good person. But, you know, anytime, you know, his trainer got a question on Charlo, his team got a question on Jamal Charlo. They always bring up, oh, we think he's juicing, or or they imply that, um, that he's juicing or whatever. But when it comes to Canelo, it's all it's nice, and that's that, that's that crab in the bucket mentality. You know, you have all this shit to say about Charlo and, and tearing him down, but you got a guy right in front of you that cheated, and it's not been brought up not one time. He brought it up one time against him in the media. I'm not even think it was one time he brought up. Excuse me, um, and he hushed, and that's what sell a fight. That's what made Oscar and Floyd so good that. Floyd was killing Oscar verbally. And it's like Canelo got so much protection that Danny Jacobs couldn't even sell the fight. He being respectful and saying, I'm a buy. But that ain't what we want to hear. We know if you outbox the Canelo Alvarez, Danny Jacobs, you're not going to win. That's a fact. So you wonder why people are not more intrigued about this fight, why people don't make videos about the fight. 
It's not that you with Eddie Hearn. It's not what you with the slave trader. It's not that you with uh, the zone. It's not none of that. It's, it's a combination of some of that. But the majority of it, the 52, 55 percent of it, or maybe even the 60, 70 percent of it is that you don't have the right mentality. You're not speaking right. You're not you're not, you know, you're not galvanizing the troops. You're not galvanizing the black community. You're not galvanizing the box community saying you're going to come out here and get the KO. Or I'm going to go out there to tear Canelo up. And one of my subs, he got a channel and I got to find it. He made a compilation video of Danny Jacobs saying in the past that he can knock out Canelo. Oh, I knock Canelo. I like 10 videos chopped up of him saying Canelo, he can knock Canelo out. Why are you not using that to your advantage saying I'm going to knock Canelo out? If you get to talking greasy, it's shown... And it's an actual fact in boxing. If you talk greasy, no matter how sorry you are, yeah, look at Adrian Broner. He talk all this yip yap, and no matter how sorry Adrian Broner is, but he get to talking, people forget about his his shortcomings and his failures, and they believe that he gonna go out there and win, even though there's zero chance of that happening. Danny Jacobs not even selling hope. He not even selling a knockout. He just selling like I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be getting the bag. Eddie Hearn gets up there and said they both here not for the money. They here because they they want to do for legacy. No. Nah, Pretty much Canelo there because he getting thirty million plus a fight or thirty million a fight, and Danny Jacobs getting a career high paid at fifteen million. I just tell Danny Jacobs vibe is just pretty much he happy to be here. I'm sorry, that's what I take away from it. I don't get the 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 right for uh, ferocity or the right mentality, the KLBK kill to be killed mentality for Danny Jacobs that he need to do. Obviously, Canelo team came out born. They had a translator. They here to do their best. Whoop de whoop. And this is why you know Canelo is not gonna push the zone where it needs to go. That's why, you know, if you can be the zone Mexico and it'll sell well, you know, put Tecate boxing on there, it'll do, it'll do well for Mexico, you know. But for America, he don't speak no English. There's no controversy here. There's no nothing. The most engaging person to speak was Oscar De La Hoya here. Not the dude from the zone, not the W, Mauricio Suleiman. Nobody want to hear him. Whoever ever spoke, else spoke, Oscar, whoever else was up there. We want controversy. We want a fire lit under Danny Jacobs and then again, the zone just don't have a colorful, colorful personality. Triple G, he barely speaks English. Andre, nobody care about him. Tevin Farmer, he ain't shit. All the fighters you got, none of them have personality. Even Devin Haney at this point, Teofimo Lopez got the most personality around that weight class. He talking the most ish. And a lot of people believe he can back it up. You know, but who they got that's going to really galvanize the truth, that's really going to get people to buy and say, come to the zone and watch me knock this joker out. Who going to be the Mike Tyson? Who going to be the Mayweather trash talker? Who? They could have said this press conference, bro. They could have did this on a conference call, a video call. You know, I, I would feel disrespected that I wasted my Uber money um, if I'm a media member or I wasted and came here for what? What? Who cares? Nobody even cared about this fight. They ran a few commercials during the NBA TNT last night, but nobody cares about the fight. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's a good sign. Maybe you don't care about the fight and actually it turns out to be a good fight. Actually, Danny Jacobs may win. Actually, Danny might knock him out. Actually, Canelo might get a highlight real knockout. Actually, Canelo might get his first real victory in a major fight. And across the board, he got a 90% approval weight that he beat Danny Jacobs fair and square. You know, so like I said before, they not doing a good job of promoting the fight. The fighter's not getting a good job of galvanizing people to believe that they both going to put on a great performance. And maybe that's a good sign. Maybe it's no fake promo. It's no fake hype up that they get in there and they produce a, a classic in there. And that's the, that's the case. I'm fine with it. Longest fight night. I feel like I got my $20 worth from the zone. I'm, I'm cool with it. I'm going to go ahead and get the zone, you know, order the fight. I'm not tripping about it. But my whole my whole uh, point of view on it is if you, the zone wants to be a great platform, you need fighters that, that sell verbally. You need fighters that can knock out guys. You need fighters that can do the promoting. That's gonna talk that ish, and they not allow. I believe they not allowing Danny to talk ish, but Danny's been very is a respectful fighter. That's one of the reasons he got the fight. They don't want nobody disrespecting Canelo, exposing Canelo, exposing that he was a drug cheater, nothing like that. So, you know, and then again, you compromise. You compromise people saying, "Oh man, you heard what Danny said? Him been on hot one or whatever ninety seven in, in New York. Oh, Danny on fire." We got to get together and, and go down there and support Danny and whoop de whoop and he ain't hit the breakfast club or nothing. He ain't saying no, nothing nobody care about. And that just shows you one of the downfalls of fighting on the zone. Lack of promotion and Canelo, you can't say nothing about him, you know, and therefore there's no controversy and there's no hype about the fight. But pretty much I'll link the final press conference in the description. It was dull. It was dull as a, as a grandma, grandma knife from 1965. So 
You ain't miss much. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, thehellblaze.com, promo code goodfellow one boxing. Get you 18% off the 100% all natural products from lotion, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, deodorant, toothpaste, hair pomade, made much, much more. Website, promo code description, 100% all natural products. They make them themselves. Check them out. It's not important from nowhere but right here in the United States. Don't forget we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you have a business question to call, response to your video request. One time for the one time. We gone.